Vogue says, uh, and they had on the recent cover, I don't know anything about these fashion, I don't even really know these things still exist. Apparently they do. Now they really just generally put celebrities in the cover instead of models. There's so much joy to be had in playing with clothes. I've never thought too much about what it means. It just becomes this extended part of creating something. Read our full December cover story with Harry Styles. Uh, so this is the, the cross-dressing for men is sexy and in style now. That's what we're supposed to take, and that's what Harry Styles is, is telling us. Now, this is part of a broader trend. A lot of people have identified uh, as an assault on traditional masculinity in society. It's real. People will mock you when you say that. Oh, you're such a tough guy, aren't you? No, it's the traditional masculine virtues and way, way of being is now constantly being challenged. In fact, by the very people who will say, oh, you're so masculine. Okay, well, what is masculinity? What are we aspiring to? As men in American society, what does it mean? I will say uh, Candace Owens had a very strong response with this one on Twitter. She wrote, there is no society that can survive without strong men. The East knows this. In the West, the steady feminization of our men at the same time that Marxism is being taught to our children is not a coincidence. It is an outright attack. Bring back manly men. This country was largely built by and certainly defended by manly men over a very long period of time. And this should be something, speaking of virtue, that we could all celebrate, right? Men who are courageous, who are decisive, who are selfless, who act to protect them, their families, their country, uh, their communities. Is, isn't that something that we should all be in favor of? Oh, but we also need to celebrate when men dress up as women and pretend that this is appealing. I've got to tell you, I've never met a woman. I know there are plenty of them all over social media who, because they're trying to advance their media careers, will say, oh, a guy dressing up in a woman's wedding dress is, that's sexy. Uh, and if you challenge this, they laugh at you. The sneering imbecile squad from, from Berkeley and Brooklyn will start laughing, hee hee hee, like you don't, oh, he doesn't understand how cool it is to wear you know, the, the, a dress that looks like it belongs on Queen Victoria, because all the ladies love that. When you point out that silly, they, they laugh at you. That's the society. And these are the hip, these are the cool people. These are, this is the left now, this is what they do. Candace Owens came up with another, because she got all over the place, all over the place, people attacking her for this one, and she does not give grounds. One of my favorite things about her. She does not back off. Uh, she says, mining pictures on the internet of men in dresses is not going to suddenly make me attracted to men in dresses. I'm impervious to woke culture. Showing me 50 examples of something won't make it any less stupid. And then somebody wrote, Candace Owens is 50 years behind on culture and education. Here's Iggy Pop, David Bowie, Kurt Cobain, all cross-dressing. Yeah, they cross-dressed for attention. They didn't do this in their normal day-to-day -day lives as a way of being. And even if they did, that's a couple of guys. Who really cares? But now we're in a society where there is no truth and all truth must always be assaulted and those who try to uphold truth become targets themselves. That's what the left gives you, friends. That's the whole point. That's the game they play. Hey, Team Buck, just want to say thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more great content from the first, please click that subscribe button.